There are a variety of anime characters out there. Some of the characters attributes include shyness, outgoing, manipulative, but for any reason people love these characters for themselves most of all. It is interesting because based on the person, others may say you can have multiple anime waifus, while certain people say you can only have one because why not have loyalty towards a fictional anime waifu? Got the pun there? Loyalty? Okay, I'll stop. In today's video, I will be discussing about my unique but un popular anime waifus so let's go yo what's up everyone it's me Joe loyalty back again with another special video this one's a video that i've been waiting a very long time to like talk about just because it has to pertain with my anime waifus and of course when you're talking about anime waifus it's very stereotyped most people don't really like to embrace their anime waifus which let me tell you in this video, I'm definitely going to be trying my hardest to at least somewhat embrace my anime waifus, um, some of which I've had a very long connection to and some of which I've just barely called my anime waifu. So with that being said, most people usually look up their waifus in either looks or either personality. When you're looking at a personality, you usually go by the traits of what you sort of admire in a person. For me, looks are part of it, but I would think that personality is a bigger spectrum of an anime waifu or having an anime waifu. I actually have multiple waifus, although certain people, <clears throat> anime men, uh, would say that you only get to have one. But I don't think that's the best thoughts when looking at different anime characters of course you can have one two three as many waifus as you want but having one specific one i i cannot understand that sort of mindset say for instance if you like the anime akamika kill which some people do some people don't um but in this case just say for instance that shield is your anime waifu and then you have another character that you like which let's just say it's leone you can have both of those waifus for various other reasons, but for some reason, uh, for certain people, <laughs> they just say that, oh, you can only have one. It doesn't make sense. Loyalty, you know? But for me, I have multiple uh, for various reasons. Uh, not just looks, not just personality, but I will go right through them. So I'm ranking it from third best to second best to first best. My first waifu, her name is quite popular. Her name is Hollow the Wise Wolf. She is from Spice and Wolf. She appears to be 15, but she's actually about like 600 years old in her own lifespan, which is honestly the craziest thing because currently I'm still reading the novels for this series and it's a very long novel series so i'm really looking forward to like how many years pass by within the the novel series to further extend like why she is my waifu obviously mainly looks and also uh personality i think her personality is probably the best attribute to her mainly because she can see through flaws she can see through lies which Honestly, there's no other anime character that I've ever seen that can actually see through lies like that, even with the people that she most trusts. Or sometimes she's faced with certainties that contradict her own like thoughts and feelings towards different situations. Looking at her as like a waifu, I would say that she's a very smart and intelligent um, wise wolf, as you would say in the anime or novel series. I would say that she's probably the smartest out of the bunch of my waifus, um, mainly because she's had years of experience. She's had so much, so much experience uh, when looking at different situations that happen to the main character, uh, Craft Lawrence. You, you have so many attributes that make her so brilliant as an anime waifu, and I wouldn't have it any other way to not pick her as an anime waifu. She's probably the most popular anime waifu out of my three anime waifu i think that she makes a name for herself obviously she's literally in the title spice and wolf wolf being hollow the wise wolf she's obviously one of the main characters so that's why she's probably the one that's most popular i definitely rank her third best anime waifu for me i, I have a big strong will for her 
and that's never going away. As far as my second anime waifu, which she's probably the most least known, mainly because the anime is very old, uh, but like the only reason why I love this character so much is mainly because she's a very talented, strong will, going back to the whole personality thing, she's a very, very talented person and I wanted to just give her credit as second best anime waifu. Obviously she's above Hollow right now. So her name is Suzuka Asahina from the anime Suzuka. No one practically knows about this anime unless I've actually said it to someone. I would say that Suzuka is a very unique character indeed, mainly because of her work ethic. If you haven't seen the anime, let me break down the synopsis for you. Suzuka is actually about a girl who is in an athletic team. She does pole jumping, so she jumps over poles and whatnot. It's mainly one of her biggest talents. And I'm not going to go through the whole entire anime, but she's a very hardworking athlete that uh, is confronted with a lot of things having to do with love. And the main reason why I like her above Hollow is mainly because she defines what love actually is by the end of the anime. And not even that, but you get to see her experience as well when looking at the Suzuka manga, which I haven't read yet. But you get to see her adult life uh, flourish through. And you also get to see her be like a wonderful mother in Fuka as well which is shown very slightly. Those actual two animes are actually both connected, which is pretty awesome to see. Um, but going back to Suzuka as a character, I would say she's probably my second best, mainly because she defines what love is by the end of the anime. She's a very naive girl in the beginning, but along the way she learns what love really is and, and the boundaries that are between loving someone and letting someone go so um, it's a very very good chemistry to see within obviously an anime character who is specifically an athlete which is very unique as an anime character I would think for that reason she's obviously above hollow for that reason even though she has less years of her life that have been lived it's extraordinary as like a character who can actually define what like love is and the boundaries between them not only that but just the way she actually defines love is something that's that not only took a little bit of while for her to learn but she was able to forgive the people who have really hurt her emotionally mentally and even distracted her physically when she was on the front lines in the sport of high jumping that that really had a big impact on her momentum everything like that but eventually she was able to learn what her own feelings meant to her and what that meant to others. That's why I put Suzuka above Hollow mainly because in some short amount of years and even in the manga going to Fuka, you're able to see her development as like a matured woman, which is very rare to see. I I'm not taking it for granted that I actually did put her on my waifu tier list because she she's really proven herself along the time that I've known her for. So moving on to my actual main waifu, which honestly you could probably already tell from the background of who it is. Let me tell you, um, she's been my waifu for like probably since I was like 12, which is like crazy to think about because this anime waifu, I grew up with her at some point. I actually uh, viewed her as a older sister, obviously when I was younger. And then when I got to her age, I kind of like had that thought of like, oh yeah, she could be like my best friend. Even though like I am older than her now, I still look up her to her. It's, it's what I aspire to be as a person. If you don't know who my main anime waifu is by this point, her name is Minori Kushieta from Toradora. I would say she's like in between popularity and less popular in the anime community. Obviously you have Taiga Ryuji, Ami, Kitamura, and of course Minori. It's very interesting how much she means to me as like an anime waifu. With her being my main anime waifu, I've looked up to her for so many years that I don't care about all the flaws she has. That's what brings her above Holo and Suzuka, mainly because she embraces those flaws and she doesn't give a fuck of what you say if you're lying between your teeth she will say something about it and she hates liars and that's the thing most people do 
but the way she hates it, she wants someone to realize that they're lying. Obviously, even though they know they're lying, so they feel guilty about themselves, but not for the wrong reasons. Oh, she just wants vengeance. Uh, but I would say that it's for the realization of what you're doing wrong, you know? I, I think that's what brings Minori out at her full best. In the broad spectrum of it, obviously she's hardworking. She's the captain of the baseball team at Ohashi High, which is their high school. But the thing is, like, uh, if you haven't watched Tordor, obviously this will be a spoiler warning. When looking at the end of the anime, she has to come face to the fact that two of her crushes are actually uh, being married to one another and that's something that's very very difficult to go through and I have personal experience with that myself so when looking at a character like that it brings out the best in her uh, mainly because she has to hide the fact that she is sad she has no choice she wants to support her friends in the long run and when looking at a character like that you can't help but feel sorry for them their willpower is very immense but when looking at two friends that you actually like falling in love together and eventually eloping and whatnot it, it's it's very difficult in that manner but eventually like she moves on from them which is quite the character development i would say um, she's a very underrated character in the Tordor series, I would think. She doesn't really have her own arc, which is very fascinating. Not only that, but she gets to express her feelings through some of the songs that are played throughout the anime. You have the ending one, which is Vanilla Salt. She sang that whole entire song. And then she also sang Silky Heart, which explains like her feelings of having a crush and letting that come between her and her feelings for her friends. I would say that Minori is probably my favorite, mainly because she knows when to stop and she knows when to move on and she also knows where her happiness lies and that's the thing like when starting up this channel I was actually thinking about it quite dearly because I had done so much in my past that I felt like I needed to move on and this is not where my happiness lies. Creating this new channel I found like my new sense of happiness just talking about anime or whatever it is it made me feel like I had a place to just be happy you know i'm really loving this experience so far and it probably wouldn't have been possible for me to make this decision without like obviously the help of minori right there i definitely love her as an anime character and not just that as a person um even though she is not real she's definitely real in my heart i look up to her now more than ever those are my anime waifus so definitely let me know what, what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on my anime waifus i know i kind of went through this really quick i didn't want to make it so long anime waifus can be talked about for so long these are my three main i haven't changed anything ever since this video so don't hesitate le to let me know of some of your guys' anime waifus or if you're uh, into husbandos by all means let me know what your husbando is if it's freaking jojo i don't care I, I will let my thoughts out as well in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video uh, please feel free to like subscribe comment down what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on my anime waifus i hope they're not too underrated i know like most people have several anime waifus from mainstream anime like fucking Demon Slayer. Um, that's the thing about anime waifus. They they hold dear to our hearts forever. Something to never be taken into account. If you do have an anime waifu, definitely like embrace that because these characters can have a very big impact on our lives and our decisions. Never feel bad to embrace those anime waifus or husbandos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, stay golden my friends. I'll see you in the next one.